Healthier Together. Sponsored by Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oregon. Alcohol affects uh, all of us, even those of us who don't drink, uh, because of the impact on our society um, and, the, and the costs. Excessive alcohol use is the third leading cause of preventable deaths in Oregon. More than 2,000 Oregonians die each year from excessive alcohol use in the state. The Oregon Health Authority is asking you to rethink the drink. It's a new public health campaign to raise awareness about the negative impacts of drinking. In the first year of the COVID-19 pandemic, Oregon saw a 21% increase in deaths directly attributed to alcohol compared to the year before. More than one in five people in Oregon drink excessively, and it's not just a problem for young people. Those in their 30s and 40s binge drink at nearly the same rates as people in their 20s. Rethink the Drink asks individuals to consider the role alcohol plays in their lives and community. For insight, I went to Deputy State Health Officer Dr. Tom Jean with the Oregon Health Authority and Executive Medical Director of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oregon, Dr. James Polo. Alcohol over time wreaks havoc on the body, uh, increases blood pressure, uh, it affects many organs of which the liver is the worst. Alcohol also increases your risk for many cancers. So over time, alcohol really can be very damaging to the body. Elevated health risks include prostate, breast, colon, and other cancers, cardiac conditions, depression, anxiety, and memory loss, and three types of liver disease. There's two types of drinking that we worry about. First of all, binge drinking, when people just drink a lot of alcohol in a very short period of time, or people that have heavy use where over time they're drinking more and more and more. So what is considered heavy drinking? For a cisgender man, that's 15 drinks or more per week. For a cisgender woman, it's eight drinks or more a week. For binge drinking, that's when a man has five or more standard drinks in a couple of hours. For a woman, it's four or more drinks. Understanding that is, is key, you know, uh, but also just thinking about if you're drinking more than you uh, think you would like to drink um, and, and understanding some of the impacts that it may be having in your life. If you think you might have a problem with alcohol, there are many resources available. The 988 Mental Health Crisis Line is always available 24-7. And for less urgent help, Dr. Polo says to start with your primary care doctor. Being honest, because there might be some other health considerations that are important to look at at the same time. Most doctors will be able to readily encourage individuals, explain what the, the concern about overuse might be, and then also provide resources. These experts remind us to look out for the people in our lives and to speak up if you notice someone is struggling. You have to approach folks with facts. Offer what you're observing. No judgment. Tell them why you're concerned. Make them aware of resources. Show them that you care. I think it's trying to raise awareness. Um, uh, and it's also important to, to note that we're not telling people to stop drinking. Uh, we're just asking that they pause for a moment and, and think about the way um, alcohol uh, is prevalent in their own lives and communities. We'll bring you a healthier together every week here on KGW. You can catch up on past stories and find more information to get proactive about your health in the Healthier Together tab on KGW.com.